My name is Jackie Shake and I'm 27 years old. When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor the size of a grapefruit. All my life, I played sports. Basketball, volleyball, softball, my favorite was football. I played boys tackle football on Pop Warner. I played linebacker, left inside linebacker. After that season, I went to go get contacts just because I was tired of wearing glasses. And so we went and they dilated my eyes and my pupils and they saw my optic nerve was swollen. So they sent me to the doctors and the doctors did the MRI and the CAT scan and the blood work. And they came back and said, um, Miss Molina, which is my mother, your daughter has a mass on her brain. It's the size of a grapefruit and we're gonna go send her to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia to go get brain surgery. So a couple days later, my dad took me to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and I had a 14 hour brain surgery. They didn't know what was gonna happen, if I could come out as a vegetable, if I would be blind or paralyzed or even make it. But luckily I was able to pull through, but I still had some complications. I was paralyzed on my left side of my body I couldn't move my arm, I couldn't move my leg, and I was also blind on the left sides of each of my eye. I went through a lot of physical therapy. Life's just been difficult since then, just being not able to see fully. Um, and after that, I started having complications and started having seizures because of the scar tissue that was in my brain. And as a result of all my seizures, I was put on so many different medications and I was allergic to them or they gave me bad side effects. So for years and years, I was on different medicines, switching them up. After high school, I knew I wanted to help people out and I just was such a people person. So I thought, nursing, why not go to be a nurse? So I went to medical assisting school. I graduated with a 4.0 perfect attendance. I got my first job right after um, graduating and it was at a dermatology office. It was fun, but I was always in constant fear of having a seizure at the job, which was scary for me and was embarrassed. So I went from kind of job to job because the jobs weren't really for me and um, some of them were just kind of hard to, to understand and to um, just kind of get through. So my last job I actually had was at a cardiologist. Um, it was a really good job, but I actually had a seizure in the bathroom. I can feel them coming on. So I said, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom, had a seizure, came back out. Nobody knew anything. So I thought the whole time I'm never going to get a job that I can stay at and I'm never going to find a boyfriend. And I just... Nobody's going to want to date a girl with all these medical problems that take a whole bunch of medicine, that has seizures. Like, nobody wants that. It's kind of a burden on somebody. I don't know if I would want that in a boyfriend, which sounds kind of bad. So I dated for a couple years, different people, and um, I go to a great church, and I was in the singles ministry, and this guy comes in, and apparently he was asking about me for his brother, so he's like, let me take you out on a date. I was like, sure, why not? I haven't been on a date in for years. So we went on a date and the next day we went on another date and we literally were together nonstop. And I told him when we first started dating, our second date, I'm like, I have seizures. I'm on a whole bunch of different medications. Um, I don't know if that's going to bother you or what. And he's like, that's not going to bother me. So... A couple days later, I ended up having a seizure with him there, and I was so embarrassed. We were dating for 10 months, and I was thinking, we're never going to get engaged. I love this guy. He says he loves me. Is he going to ever pop the question? So in February, a week after Valentine's Day, he said, hey, let's go to St. Augustine. Let's just go and walk around. And I have a favorite pearl shop there where you can go and open up, open up the oyster and there's always a pearl inside. So I'm like, can we go there? He's like, sure, let's go there. So we went there. I picked out a oyster and I went to open it up and I was like, well, this one's really easy to open. And I open it up and there's an engagement ring in it. My 
Kevin grabs it from me, gets on one knee, and was like, Jackie, I love you. I want to be with you forever. Will you marry me? And after that, we started planning a wedding. A couple months after we got married, we found out that we were going to have our first child. He was so excited. I was so excited. But then again, I was kind of scared because the medication I was on, there was possible side effects and birth effects for the baby. So. Him and I and our family members just kept praying and praying that the baby would be safe and I would be safe and not have any seizures while I was pregnant. And on September 1st, 2016, I had my baby boy, Braxton Owen Shake, and we were just so blessed that he was so healthy and so perfect. I just feel like God has truly blessed me and my husband with such a great baby, um, health as good as it can be, and we just, we thank him every day for what we have and what he's given us.